China is the third largest country in the world in terms of land area, with a vast territory, diverse climates, and rich landforms. At the same time, China has the second largest desert in the world. Not only is the climate arid, but the environment is also very bad. China has spent a lot of effort to control this desert, not only using drip irrigation technology, but also strengthening the soil in various ways. However, the deserts that make China a headache are not only the Taklamakan Desert, but also the Kabuki Desert in Inner Mongolia. Sandstorms often occur, which have a great impact on the environment in the northern region. China wants to control this desert and introduce the Yellow River water into this desert of Inner Mongolia. Will it be effective? China's deserts are distributed in the northern part of North China, the western part of the Northeast, and the Northwest. Most of them are in the Northwest, including the Kabuki Desert and the Muas Desert. Humans overgrazing and cutting down forest plants have caused surface vegetation destruction, soil erosion, and land turning into gravel. Due to the large desert area in China, China is a country that is greatly affected by sandstorms. Over the years, China has also made certain achievements in desert control. The dilemma of China's desert control is that desert control requires a lot of investment and long-term efforts, and the effect is often not achieved overnight. Desert control requires a variety of measures, including afforestation, windbreak and sand fixation, and improvement of the ecological environment. At the same time, desert governance also needs policy and legal support as well as the active participation of all sectors of society. Under the scorching sun, the yellow sand stretches as far as the eye can see, with a few greenish and reddish vegetation scattered here and there. This is most people's first impression of the desert. However, entering the Kabuki Desert Water Ecological Management Area in Ordos City, Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region, is another scene. Looking from the sandy slope, lakes of all sizes are inlaid in the desert-like crystals. There are overgrown bushes, and waterfowls stop to play from time to time. Blue sky, clear water, golden sand beach. How are these beautiful scenery that can only be found in coastal cities implanted in the desert? The Kabuki Desert is the seventh largest desert in China and the nearest source of sandstorms in the Beijing-Tianjin area. The hinterland of the desert is located in the Hangjin Banner of Ordos City, accounting for 52% of the total area of Hangjin Banner. Shrinking grassland and lack of grassland have always troubled the local people and restricted local development. In 2013, the local people came up with a good idea to control the desert, which is to introduce the Yellow River water into the desert. The Kabuki Desert is adjacent to the Yellow River, and the closest point is only about three kilometers away. It is well known that the reason why it is difficult to grow plants in the desert is that the raging wind and sand weather will cause serious soil erosion and lack of irrigation water. After decades of governance, the laying of grass grids and the construction of windbreaks have given the Kabuki Desert a preliminary water and soil conservation capacity. At this time, if water from the Yellow River is introduced, it is expected to greatly accelerate the process of desert transformation. To this end, the local government spent 40 million yuan to divert water from the main canal on the south bank of the Yellow River. They built diversion sluices, 38.5 kilometers of diversion channels, and 17.92 kilometers of ecological dikes, which were connected to the main canal and extended 10 kilometers of ecological dikes. As a result, the water cycle pattern in which the Yellow River flows into the Kabuki Desert and then retreats into the Yellow River from the desert has been formed. 
In order not to affect downstream water use while controlling the desert, the local government chose to introduce excess water from the Yellow River during the flood and lingering seasons. That is to say, the gates will be opened after the Yellow River enters the flood season or the lingering season, and the water will be put into the reservoir and the desert. In addition to building reservoirs, they also built a number of canals and water pipelines to send water to all corners of the desert. And combined with advanced water-saving irrigation technologies such as sprinkler irrigation, drip irrigation, and water mist seedling cultivation, etc., the survival rate of saplings planted in the desert has been effectively improved. With water, the desert quenches its thirst. It is reported that in order to control the Kubuki Desert, more than 200 million cubic meters of water were allocated for related projects, and many magical scenes took place. The Kabuki Desert has formed nearly 20 square kilometers of water surface and nearly 60 square kilometers of ecological wetlands. Plants have begun to recover, some water birds have come here to inhabit, and the barren desert has gradually become lively. The spectacle of diverting water from the Yellow River into the desert and turning the desert into an oasis has also attracted the attention of various countries. They say it's an act against heaven. In 2015, 6,000 square kilometers of the seventh largest desert in China had been transformed into forests and wetlands, and desertification of two-thirds of the entire desert had been brought under control. The remarkable results have attracted the attention of many countries and international organizations, including the United Nations. In 2015, it was also promoted by the United Nations as a sample of China's sand control achievements to the world, calling on all countries in the world to learn China's sand control technology. All in all, the successful governance of the Kubuki Desert not only indicates that China is leading the world in desert governance technology, at the same time, it also provides valuable experience for solving the world's desertification problem. In fact, it is not just China. Desert governance and transformation is a problem that any country in the world needs to solve. Only by developing the economy under the premise of protecting the ecological environment can a country develop more stably and go for a longer period of time. Then someone will ask at this time, why did China divert the water source of the Yellow River into the desert? And why didn't it choose the Yangtze River? This is because China has four distinct seasons. In winter, the temperature in the northwest will mostly be below zero. During this period, the water source of the Yellow River will freeze and the temperature will rise after the beginning of spring. The freezing of the river starts from the downstream and the thawing starts from the upstream. At this time, the upstream thawed water source will be intercepted by the downstream ice surface causing the water level to rise continuously and the downstream area will continue to flood. This process is called ice flood. Therefore, China spends a lot of manpower every year to solve the problem of the Yellow River ice flood. In order to be able to solve the Yellow River ice flood, China has already begun to work hard to prevent floods at the beginning of this century. In the early days, China only believed that the ice flood of the Yellow River was caused by the freezing of the river water, so it relieved the pressure of the ice flood by building reservoirs and breaking ice. After testing, it was found that due to the large amount of sediment carried in the water flow of the Yellow River and the accumulation of silt in the river channel year by year, the water level on the banks of the Yellow River continued to rise. Moreover, the flow direction of the water source of the Yellow River is also in a few lines, so it is still impossible to fundamentally solve the problem of the Yellow River ice flood. 
In the past, in order to prevent ice, people tried to use explosives to blast the frozen river, but the effect was not complete. Reminiscent of the fact that the Yellow River is so full of water that it is about to overflow, and there is a desert with good conditions nearby, if water is introduced into the desert, it can be said to solve two major problems at the same time. So in 2013, relevant departments of the local government started related operations. When the water level of the Yellow River is high and the ice flood is high, the ice water is introduced into the low-lying desert to form a water surface, improve the ecological environment of the desert, and achieve the win-win goal of reducing the pressure of ice prevention and sand control. Today, the Kabuki Desert has completely stopped expanding and its area is steadily shrinking. Thanks to the continuous efforts of the local people, the expansion of the Kabuki Desert has completely stopped and its area is steadily shrinking. The remaining unreformed desert has also been developed into a scenic spot with complete infrastructure and good security capabilities through the continuous efforts of the local people. Every year, countless domestic and foreign tourists come here to experience the fun of desert tourism, which is in stark contrast to other deserts in China that are also known as forbidden areas for life. The technology used by the local people to manage the Kabuki Desert has also begun to be promoted across the country, and I hope they can achieve more in the future. Of course, the earth-shattering scene in Kabuki is not only due to the water of the Yellow River, but also has a certain relationship with the efforts of sand control personnel. Today's Kabuki Desert has long seen a thriving scene and has also begun to vigorously develop tourism, hoping to drive the economic development of the entire region through tourism. It is believed that in the future development, more and more deserts will be managed successfully. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.